We're now done with creating all of the smaller buildings. We do need to build a floor which can be used in both of the skyscrapers. Thankfully, this uses all the techniques we've already learned. First, uh, we've hidden our building four, so all we need to do is add a cube. And in our channel box, polycube two, let's enter width of three, depth of five, subdivision width of five, and subdivision depth of 10. Making sure we are in object mode. Let's just assign a new material and just call this Lambert and rename this to Tower Floor Lambert. And let's change the color to a white. Let's just switch to face mode and click all of these for our windows. Now, just going to go to the modeling toolkit and press extrude. But instead of this time just doing an extrude all the way around, I'm gonna switch keep faces together to off. And now, if I just pull in, and pull down, you can see we've created the windows all the way around. As we have all our faces selected, while we're here we may as well Move this window up slightly so we can see. Sign new material. This time my Fong and just in here, materials, Fong 4. Let's just call this Tower Windows. And again, let's just choose a blue. Okay. And we will rename this Tower underscore floor. That was easy. All we need to do now is just reposition our floor in relation to the rest of the scene. So I'm just going to translate it 0.5 and just to make sure our grid, let's just hide our tool settings there so we've got a bit more room. Let's switch to four and W for the move tool, D, got grid snap on and Let's just make sure, yep, snapped in the center of the grid. Switch back to five, and all of our primary building geometry is now created. What we need to do now before we just get on with building our landscape and getting on with MASH and the exciting bits is just let's group our building elements together. So we've selected them in the outliner, and we could go edit group, or it's command G. Let's just call this building geometry and we are ready to go.